Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Braden Riggs and I'm a developer advocate with the Dolby IO team. I'm here today to talk to you about a new exciting feature we just added to our platform, SRT Ingest. For those familiar, SRT, or Secure Reliable Transport, is a network transport protocol that allows you to deliver high quality audio and video with relatively small delay. It's quite popular in the broadcast industry for things like live shows and remote live production. So we wanted to make sure that we added support for this feature on the Dolby IO streaming platform. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can actively start a stream in OBS on your computer and deliver it out via our SRT ingest to end users who can view it and interact with it. So let's jump in and get started. Okay, so to get started using our SRT ingest, um, we're going to actually do this in OBS. Now it's important to note that in earlier videos on this channel, we've used the Dolby IO WebRTC enabled OBS. Now you can do that with that WebRTC enabled OBS, but this also works on the regular stock standard OBS that you might be familiar with. So for this example, we're gonna be using the original vanilla OBS project. Now to get started, you can come to the OBS screen here and download your appropriate version of OBS. I already have it installed and set up, so I'm just gonna jump to that stage. Um, here you go, you can see it on screen right now. Now the next step to setting up this SRT ingest is to actually go over to our Dolby IO dashboards. It's really easy, you can sign up for one for free and you get $25 of free credit a month to play around with everything, which for testing out and building some proof of concept stuff is more than enough. So from here, we can log into our dashboard. You'll see I have no active tokens, so I'm gonna create a new token by clicking the plus button. I'm gonna call this one SRT since we're doing some cool stuff with SRT. And click in here. Now you're gonna see a bunch of different things going on, token settings, all that stuff. For the most part right now, we don't need to worry about that. We're gonna switch over to this API tab right here and scroll all the way down to these SRT um, copy boxes right here. So there's three of them, SRT Publish Path, SRT Stream ID, and SRT Publish URL. Now, depending on whether you're standing up an SRT stream directly from an encoder or a camera, the SRT Publish Path or the SRT Stream ID will be applicable to you. In this case, we're standing the stream up directly from OBS. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna copy this path. Now I'm gonna switch over to, again, the vanilla version of OBS and navigate over to the settings here. We open up the settings box and in the settings, we're gonna navigate over to stream and we're gonna select custom service. So you'll see Twitch, YouTube, all that, we want custom. Now for the server, we just paste in that key here you see it contains all the information, your SRT stream, your stream ID, all that stuff. We hit apply and okay. And just like that, we've set it up in OBS. And so now I can click start streaming. But where are we streaming out to? That's a great question. If we come back to our Dolby IO dashboard and scroll back up, you'll see this code right here, hosted player path. Now this is the path to the hosted Dolby IO streaming player. So we can open this up in another tab and we can see our stream right now. With that said, SRT is a really, really cool technology with a lot of interesting use cases. So feel free to get building with it and let us know in the comments if you're able to put together any really interesting use cases or do anything exciting. And with that, I'm Braden. This has been the Dolby IO channel. Let's get building.